still eight minutes uh, past eight. We are on the tail end of the program right now. We're watching Sokoni, where we are broaching the matters of telecom and intrigues. Yesterday we saw also in Parliament as well. But what is the bi biggest issue with telecom as it stands? And how can we lance the boil of <coughs> not just this parastatals that now are ailing, especially the government parastatals uh, who are recording losses? What is... The poignant question is, is it an issue of corporate governance or also people just taking advantage of some of the loopholes that we have in the law and how can we tighten them so that, yes, we have something uh, that is watertight that cannot be taken advantage of. Well, just to now, of course, not really go to what my director has taken there on the issue of, uh, of Eurobond, but clear with, first of all, telecom and the telco sector. Please. And the issue of, that I wanted just to raise was... Uh, this that we had in the business daily now with the stacks that are a big for telcos with fresh dominance rules <coughs> we for the longest time this is where this is coming from why telecom is making losses why safaricom is a big uh, winner in the telco sector uh, are there loopholes within maybe the regulations on the telcos the unbundling of safaricom uh, and or an impesa has been an issue for the longest time telcom was supposed to actually uh, merge with uh, Airtel. With Airtel, it never really happened at the end of the day, and mm. we. These are issues that also fr frustrated Helios, sure. exiting the market as it stands. Indeed, so, before we leave Mauritius, just one word. I think to be fair to the Republic of Mauritius, it's been one of the countries. A number of those who are concerned about governance in Africa and tech have been looking towards. They have uh, had some very good uh, systems in place, and, and that cannot be ignored. The fact that certain bad manners are emerging, I think uh, it beholden upon the Republic <coughs> of Mauritius <coughs> to clamp them when it's still too early. But that we cannot forget the fact that one of the best governed in terms of governance, <coughs> against graft, adoption of te modern technology, even proper running of the economy, mm. Mauritius has been doing pretty That's well. Right. So I just wanted to mm. say I can so. confirm mm. that. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, and, uh, we, and uh, you know, we, again, we shouldn't condemn Mauritius for having a better uh, tax code than ours, for offering investors better advantages uh, and, and investment incentives than ours. As a matter of fact, what we should be doing is doing better. But uh, uh, to me, the last word on this is about uh, governance. At least in theory, the management of a company like Telcom is reporting to a board. And government is a shareholder, big or small in that, and, and therefore has representation on that board. Mm. Um, that board is itself uh, uh, you know, answerable to the shareholders, who is government and other partners. Yeah? And that government is under oversight by parliament. And ultimately both the executive and parliament answer to the citizens of kenya that's the way the governance system works yes that's why for me for example i'm surprised when the when the real the the end point of governance is the people of kenya so when you want to meet whether in muranga or nyahururu or nakuru <laughs> why you should be concerned and why police should be uh, making very uh, odd statements you know, Kenyans, really Kenya belongs really to Kenya. You're really hammered, that's why. <laughs> no, and I'm hammered Since because, 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 that is because, 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 you only want to describe the, uh, the, the hind foot. Yeah. You only want to describe the front foot. You must describe the elephant in totality. Including the so, diarrhea of the elephant. Including <laughs> the diarrhea of the elephant. <laughs> you oh see, no. you see. Like exactly. Allow government to get away with this. Ex ex oh exactly. No. Exactly. <laughs> right now, you see press reports about a company um, called Mashinani or somebody involved in fertilizer. Yeah? Paid, I don't know, 10 billion or whatever billion by KNTC. Uh, allegations, I don't know the truth of it, allegations in the newspapers that... That is from Eldoret. From Eldoret. Mm -hmm. That, I don't know, they paid who, 300 or 320 million. Mm -hmm. Same kind of behavior mm -hmm. that we are debating here. Where are the governance systems, where, where does the rain start beating us? And the governance goes like this. You have uh, 
a body like KNTC, owned by government, it has a management. That management reports to a board. Mm -hmm. That board is answerable to government Shareholder. and other shareholders. Okay? Government is being oversighted by parliament. And both the executive side of government and the legislator report or are accountable to the citizens. When you see citizens wanting to take action directly, it is because that governance system has been is captured, collapsing. Has mm -hmm. been captured. Has been captured, is not working properly, is, 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 uh, and citizens can <clears throat> see that it is not working properly. That's the way it, it is related. So, but in a more specific question you raise about degradation of telcos and unbundling, the regulator ought and should be concerned when you concentrate too much on one entity, but the potential for danger is greater. Mm -hmm. So the unbundling, and it is not a, a first thing uh, just being in done in Kenya. I mean, governments do that all the time. That when you have too much concentration of market power on one player, you are best place to try and, and unbundle it. Personally, I, 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 I favor doing so <coughs> because and, market and concentration is not a good thing. And coming but if, back to if, if, history, uh, if history may just bear us down, mm. when you talk about unbundling, mm -hmm. uh, we, a case in point will be Telcom where it began, yeah. with the Kenya Post and Telecommunications uh, Authority. <clears throat> yeah. What will be the, the future of Safaricom as an entity? If you say we're unbundling and pesa from Safaricom, and how then does it also relate to investor who has a huge... Mm. Tied this sum of money in Safaricom. In, in, uh, in uh, well, I think uh, 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 just, just you're so the one. ones to, to answer. Yeah. Uh, I can I can only help uh, like this, and I yield to him. Yeah, can, can, you, can you? Oh, just, he can answer. Yeah, yeah. then I'll come back. To, yeah. And my professor. premise is, uh, Professor, have I jumped you? Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, I'm okay. Some, okay. I'm some, listening keenly. Sometimes I, I I feel uncomfortable when we sell fear and hopelessness to Kenya. Allow me to put a little smile uh, on the face of Kenya. That uh, you know. In as much as we're talking about Safaricom, and personally I have issues, um, including issues of a past minister who, a CEO of a competing company, went to complain to. And this, the CS of minister did say, my hands are tied. Then you are wondering, your hands are tied, you are the CS in charge of this sector. But that aside, does not take away the fact that uh, but did you need to tell you more GM? what the particular state um, means? You're the one who's <laughs> talking about state capture, uh, the I'm, influence I'm of the executive. To, I'm coming to that. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. Coming okay. To that <laughs> so that does not take away the fact that Safaricom and m -Pesa are Kenya's gems. Indeed, uh, one of the things that we didn't do too well, we took m -Pesa to the world as a Kenyan product instead of an African product. Uh, we would have done much better with that regard, but that's a story I don't have enough time to elaborate on. I gather that from a former minister of Rwanda said, look, m -Pesa was such a good thing. So there is the positive vibe that uh, Kenya and our young innovators are doing well. But that's not to say that the BAL, there are regulatory uh, concerns. Just last week, High Court did rule against uh, the biggest ac actors in this sector. The High Court did direct the Communications Authority in a matter between um, two major operators, I think I can mention because now it's out of court, uh, did direct CA to crack the whip, make sure that uh, the laws and the rules that we passed in the 8th Parliament in 1998, the Communications Act, are implemented to the letter. It's not that we lack laws for regulating the sector. Actually, what's lacking, what I was talking about earlier on, are auxiliary support mechanisms but the basic foundational laws are in place what a number of actors have been uh, requesting for is can they just be applied and applied equally there are instances when some operators uh, is, there's very di little distinction between the operator and the state we call it in regulatory terms state capture or regulatory capture a case whereby it's like the same player is almost like the referee I think if we can ensure that there's fair play, and I'm hoping that that's the unbundling is going to do, uh, dominant, dominant market power, I'm not too sure whether reviewing it to 50% really is the issue from 30 or 35%, whatever it is at the moment. 
I think what I would be more concerned about is even what we have at the moment, to what extent are we implementing execution is a major issue that we have. And this does not only stop for the telecom sector, the bar. Kenya has got very good policies, reputable and programs. It's not unusual to hear from Malaysia, from Korea, and, and so on, people telling you these ideas, we actually picked them from Kenya, but we implemented them. Thank you. So execution for me is the key issue. But dominance, fair playing field, and the rule of law are key in the telecom and sector. So this uh, has been playing out in the courts Mm. As you say, uh, it's a matter out of court. I think uh, Telcom was on it, uh, challenging the dominance of, of uh, Safaricom at the end of the day. But the, the, the argument has been, it's a free market. Right. How does right. this also pretend for stimulation? You know, once I'm growing, I'm making profit, then I'm becoming a threat to my neighbor. Uh, how then do we contain that particular environment that we don't even stifle uh, innovation. Yeah, and innovation? That's, that's we don't stifle. And, yes, uh, absolutely. Yeah, because we are growing, then you're trying to sort of uh, uh, clip our wings. Professor? Yeah, yeah. it's important, and, and I think you're looking at my notes, which I'm, <laughs> I'm getting a bit concerned <laughs> as we go through this process. And uh, my mind comes Ethiopian Airlines. Mm -hmm. It comes, it's dominance in Africa, mm -hmm. right? Are we saying as Africa, we want to copy? I'm talking about Kenya breweries, right? Mm -hmm. In alcohol, dominate this country. Yeah, and a, a dominance on fair practices as well. No, that, no, that that's not the point. We, yeah. But why is and we had a, we had a discussion last week with my students. I'd given them actually one of the student who works for Kenya Revenue Authority, Juma. He raised the question: Why is Safaricom dominant in this country? And it will come with three strategies. And one of the strategy, there were three groups across the board. They said one thing. They are customer crazy. Customer crazy. Who makes me dominant? It's the customer. Airtel was Zane, Airtel was whatever, but customer, because of the service we are providing, and you must not forget that shilling I'm using is my own Avandi. It's my disposable income, and therefore I'll make a choice. Right? So to me, that is, it, it actually, almost put a cup. I don't want to think. I don't want to be creative. I don't want to be innovative. However, there are rules and regulations to, to manage that company. Yeah. Yeah. But I believe in a free, in terms of delivery. The customer drives that particular company. And that I can tell you today, if you go to the platform of the telecom companies in this country, and you look at the platform of Safaricom, for example, in person, it's, it's friendly. What do I, I don't know what is my time to be told, would we do this as a customer? Because of other things to do. So, and this has been an issue. I had an opportunity to sit with CA. And uh, government owns a lot of shares in Safaricom, right? The same government is actually the one which is CA. So you're actually telling me to control why you have a lot of a lot of shares and the guys are tied up in my view let telecom and we just talked about it let uh, airtel safaricom compete now whether you have now mpesa you could have the safaricom as a corporate but you have these branches you could have the mpesa you could have something you could have something yeah, like uh, 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 airtel so to me as Sam is saying, and he has been in this industry, what uh, our friend, uh, uh, the, 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 the CS there, need to be very clear is bring regulations and rules which cut across the whole market. Mm. But w if w I can work with that, yes. and I think mm. I'm very, when I saw my dividend of Safaricom, I was happy. Mm. I, just I was happy. A, just bought a few shares. Eh? Absolutely. <laughs> so, uh, what are you telling Kenyans? I don't so, know. But, tell you. Okay, so where, where is government involved, if, especially in the private sector? How does it also s stimulate and un, un, you know unfair competition? Can I clarify? Uh, maybe because every sector has got what we call best practice. So, in as much as I agree with uh, my good uh, professor that it's a free market, um, the, the way the telecom sector operates globally is that if you just left it to market forces, you would end up in a situation where we were coming from, where you had a monopoly. 
where you had a single Kenya Post and Telecom uh, doing everything, and we know what monopolies do. So that's where there are that's why there are regulations to go by. And in this particular regard, uh, uh, the bulb, one reason for unbundling is that uh, if you don't allow it, companies would, uh, would, would, would subsidize. You know, they would take, if there is a profitable outfit, let me not name, uh, then they would use that to subsidize, complement another segment, so that they make sure that uh, the other party competitor does not m make or break, does, does not make it in that particular sector. This is why unbundling is normally necessary. So it, it, I agree with the professor that there are laws, let them apply across board. Absolutely. But having competition is healthy. Maybe a last one on this is that the town hall meetings, I really wish these important issues could be the things that affect Kenyans that they could be discussing. Our economy is here. Well, uh, thank you. Uh, but, uh, yeah. To, but, uh, uh, on, on the, um, I want just to hear from uh, this town hall where, where, where the government <laughs> is involved. You know, we want to, and the government is, is the biggest uh, right. spender. Right. The muscle that you'll bring yes. as a shareholder to any company, you'll also That's bring dominant. about the dominance uh, and uh, the monopolistic features as well. If we have the mm -hmm. government in Safaricom, it's not, mm -hmm. it's not in Airtel, then how do you expect a fair competition? Mm -hmm. And then you are the one who's coming to regulate the market there and bring and, regulation and regarding why. dominance. Can we hear from yeah, you? Then sure. we come here. Yes, yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay. Uh, you know... Um, about Safaricom and um, firstly information is power. It is not only in this country, in the United States, in Can Britain, everywhere in the world, there is some sort of control of the media or you newspaper, you cannot be saying this and you cannot control so much, so much of the, the uh, market, whether it is in the US, UK, whatever. Remember, you used to have those uh, uh, offshore capital radios and you know they out you know they had remember how how much the united kingdom of the uh, the communication authority used to go there and raid that that um, that ship outside so it it is happening the one issue of course is that uh, dominance is very important why are we looking at tiktok why are we looking at social media it's the way it is referring to the people now coming back to Safaricom, a very good friend of mine, who became a good friend, Kimunia, told me that, you know, this Safaricom, <laughs> this M-Pesa is something that way back in his time, they are the ones who actually put this thing together. He was a minister at the time. The issue of Safaricom and M-Pesa is only one. And I'm talking at the finance committee that I was sitting in, that you're, you are a communication. You are not in banking. And that's what the bankers were saying. And the, unfortunately, mm -hmm. communication, Safaricom, M-Pesa went to the unbanked. 80%, 90% of our people did not have accounts. Sure. Right now, there are nearly 60 million, 30 Sub million out of subscribers. Some people have four, four telephones each and they're on to make you know. So what I'm trying to suggest is one thing. We talked to Safaricom, we said, listen, and we talked to the, the central bank. Now, if you are Safaricom and you are talking about now virtual money, virtual money, yeah, sure. you know, they create money, it's yes, created. Yeah. It's not actually physically there. You're creating this money. We must have some sort of deposit at the central bank where in case you go down mm. there is that fund which is an insurance fund from the, if you from the regulator. if you want to start a bank you must have it's a called, billion shillings it's called trust fund trust fund sure. a billion shillings to start off True. and then certain bankers have got much more mm. and then we started and said okay let's go through this central bank or let's go through a banker and you must put certain money in the bank safaricom started that process but never took it on because it, it, it did not suit the people they're concerned. The reason is, of course, they have actually captured the, uh, the state capture is there. Mm -hmm. So that is one thing that we need to look at and look at the Communication Act and whatever. And Safari comes, if it does not play, you know, the can Airtel had the first 
money transfer. They messed it up. In Safari Com with Joseph and Michael Joseph, they came and saw that diamond and they polished it. So the issue is that that right now with Safari Com, I think you can insure yourself. You can do A, B, C, D, E, and F. You know, so we are saying, okay, let's, what is your main core? What is your main core business? This is our main core business. What is the other one? Let it be Safari, let it be M-Pesa Limited or whatever. Okay. Part of owned by Safaricom, yeah? But let that management be separate. Let these things be separated so that there is, a, there is something that you can follow. Thank you. So that is on Safaricom. On the issue of Eurobond, we have not started. Yeah, we, we, we'll go to Eurobond <laughs> in a moment. But I wanted to raise, because I think Moshimua reminds me of a very important issue regarding uh, M-Pesa and Safaricom. Because people have been raising questions, is it predicated under any law? Because uh, it's operating like a bank. What is M-Pesa? Is it a bank? It's a, it's a digital you know, um, a money, m well, money channel. I think so, that, uh, mm -hmm. and, and, and yeah, and he raises these issues. So if, if it's operating like a bank, there are deposits which are actually, you know, in that particular bank. There is investment from Safaricom from, you know, the shares of, you know, the deposit from Kenyans that they, mm -hmm. they are holding right now. How, on, on what regulatory framework are they operating? Well, on, handling, on handling the finances of Kenya. And these are mm -hmm. pertinent issues. If it really goes down, mm -hmm. what is the insurance of Kenyans that they, they are? We have the Unclaimed Assets Authority as well. But what is the insurance of Kenyans that you'll get your money back? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or part um, of it, like in Pierre? Well, and, and, uh, two, I think in the whole debate, I have two points to contribute. One is that um, the, 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 on, on the question of dominance, Firstly, there is no such thing as a perfect market. And I think uh, Dr. Oshodo here has spoke to it a little bit. That the reason you have regulation is because markets fail. Sometimes one player can amass a very significant market power that they are able to use to shut down competition. Sure. So uh, that's why you have regulation. The second to that is the idea of separating which I think Geturu uh, spoke to earlier, the regulatory side from the business side. Mm. When you are the regulator, you should also not be right. the one doing the business. Yeah. Correct. Because there is likely to be a conflict. conflict yeah. So best practice is always to keep separating your regulatory side from owning a business in the space that you are And in this case, you're talking, about, you're talking about the government? Uh, yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, and finally, then to, to your question, Mobile money, because remember, it's not just about M-Pesa. It just happens that M-Pesa, of course, is the, is the dominant thing. Right. But mobile money, generally, is it to be regulated as a communications service mm. or as a banking service. and financial service? Yes. And that's exactly where we are. Now, unbundling allows you to begin to say we are regulating it as a, uh, as, as, as a financial and banking service. Uh, finally, it also says the Banking Act itself, because the Banking Act, I guess, is, is historical, was created when right. banking model right. had a physical <coughs> thing <coughs> and, the brick and, mortar. and brick and mortar <laughs> and you were even yeah. mo moving physical cash. <laughs> but now, where the world is, led by Kenya, That's is it. on mobile That's money. It. As and, yeah, and, last crypto year, and crypto. Last mm. year, we moved uh, more than nine trillion which is about 70% of Kenya's economy, Kenya's right. GDP, on mobile money. Mm. So, best practice would suggest unbundle uh, uh, mobile money from the telco side, not just in Safaricom, but wherever else, and regulate and deal with uh, 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 financial uh, intermediation, uh, 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 banking services, and so on, for what they are now, which is that they are on mobile, and I would think in another, uh, perhaps it has already happened, that a bank may only need one or two physical spaces mm. because all the services yes. are online. But yep. that itself creates a lot of efficiencies uh, as an individual. I don't know when you last went well, to we a need, banking we need home. Add yeah. Yeah. You have yeah. somebody so, so well. Uh, the yeah. Yeah. There is, that's there the bottom line. Of, that's the bottom, that's okay. bottom line. Thanks. The, the, the digital. digital. Yeah. You are very welcome. Talking about the digital bank, yeah. 
uh, I am aware of Kenyan diasporas who are working on a diaspora digital bank. Indeed, um, currently it's only South Africa. I know many of our banks would say we have digitalized and so on, but digitization and being a digital bank are a little different. But having said that, uh, Debal, I think what has been this major selling point for Safaricom, apart from customer friendliness, is innovation. And in my view, this is what I would want to recommend for Kenya. Let's have a, a policies and regulations that do not stifle but enable innovation. It's in that regard, the bulb that I must compliment uh, uh, Safaricom for coming up with, for example, the M-Pesa Global. Uh, I remember in the past there was talk of, in terms of remittances, how do we mobile money send back money? But it has been pretty difficult sending money upwards, say from south to north. Say somebody with a child wants to pay fees in the UK or even in Uganda and so on. To a number of countries now you are able to, the M-Pesa Global, which I think is coming up, which, which needs to be complemented, in my view, the bar, uh, so that uh, hopefully you be, have a platform. And we, have, we are sitting in an, in a, in a, at a point where Kenya could once more dominate the world. If that M-Pesa Global picks up well, first as an African product, I'm hoping they're featuring next week in Nigeria, then ultimately as a global product, we would go a long way. It's in the same vein, the bar, at the moment. Uh, some may be aware, Thank you. maybe not. There's the Africa Diaspora Central Bank currently having a conversation with one of the major commercial banks. How do they transact directly? There's the issue of the bar, if I'll explain this, the major standards, global standards of SWIFT that we all know. Many may not know that. What SWIFT? Largely, this is a messaging, secure messaging company in uh, a country in but, Europe. But, but, yeah. And one may say, why do we have to pay that? Why doesn't Commercial Bank of Nigeria deal directly with Commercial Bank of Kenya? I'm, I'm involved in a conversation like that. Mm. And I'm hoping it's another revolutionary breakthrough that's going to happen so that African certain banks can deal directly. Thank but you. lastly, um, the, 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 the bell, I must say that there is what's called convergence. I'm not too troubled so much when banks and telcos compete, where is the borderline? You remember during digital migration, the com communication sector in the media sector, when we moved from cases where telephones, tele telephones, IT, and media came to converge. I think convergence is healthy and it's a reality. My only worry would be when you have uh, what looks like a monopoly, and as my colleagues on the panel have said, what would happen if same M-Pesa, for any reason or another, Thank was you. to go down? My encouragement would be, I think the state needs to enable, for example, post Kenya, the postal corporation to work together with a, a major mobile operator or a consortium of operators to provide an alternative gateway to M-Pesa so that even if there is a problem, that as a critical infrastructure, we have a backup. Thank you. Maybe even as you're finalizing uh, on the issue of unbundling and Safaricom, in terms of uh, registration of innovation, uh, right. we've never really, I don't know, uh, from my own, I would really love to know uh, who came up with this novel idea of one pesa. Mm. Uh, Christopher the, 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 Ondieki. Uh, Christopher Ondieki himself, we, we've never seen him anywhere. Uh, whether saw, where, 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 whether the Christmas. M-Pesa... Uh, you never saw Calistus Juma. I know. All right, so whether M-Pesa um, intellectual property is under the jurisdiction right. of the Kenyan government, or the shares of uh, Safaricom within, uh, I mean, the shares of Safaricom where we have Vodacom, uh, Vodacom, Vodacom as well, yeah. uh, as a largest shareholder within Safaricom as well. Do we know these details? Yeah, or, a little or, bit. Or, or, or we should? Yes, we, we, some of us do. I've okay. uh, had occasions, several, with uh, Christopher Ondieki. Ondieki, who was okay. a student at the University of Nairobi. Mm -hmm. But this matter has been caught and has been in court for long. It's never been determined? It has never, to, in finality, it hasn't been. So my hope is that uh, the administration, in terms of, I was happy to see Kenya so Innovation in Agency. Yes. So I, my thinking is that it would be good that uh, we, we are poor in uh, intellectual, IP, property intellectual property is, is properly agreed and resolved and determined. Because I'm, I'm, I'm reminded of a gentleman in South Africa, I can't remember his name, who came up with, a, with an SMS... Uh, 
Oh. If you may remember that particular case. Yeah. And he was paid after how long? Was it 20, 20 years? A tidy sum of money yeah. Yeah. because of coming up with that very novel idea. Yeah. He's but never been ce celebrated. I'm pretty sure even you didn't know that name. Yeah. Uh, professor. Sure. Uh, I know it was, it was a student. You know it was yeah. a student, but yeah. you don't know even it yeah. is Chris, Christopher Ondieki. The, 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 the failure... The failure, is, uh, the failure is, on, is on our side. The Kenya Intellectual Property Institute mm. right. is the body to assist sure. Kenyans to protect their intellectual property. Generally, uh, it, it is a passive institution, so it waits for people to... Uh, and, and, and that... It yeah. waits for people to, uh, to, apply. To, to, to apply or to sure. come up. Governor, As let, me cut, you, to, let me okay. cut you for the first time. And that's what lies the problem. You can have a passive body here and creativity and innovation are not passive. Right. In sure. fact, there's some step ahead of you. Mm. True. But when I was in the, yes. in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the in the capital market board some mm. times back, mm. it really brought this thing and saying, we have a problem here. You are regulating, or CA for that matter, somebody who is three steps ahead of you. Right. Because if you look at Safaricom, look at its innovation, creativity. Mm. Sure. You have a CA here, it's passive. Mm. You are coming to regulate after the fact. Right. That's something we need to work on. But, and but that but, body we are talking but about. This body, yes. Mm -hmm. How then does it also salvage the situation that we're in? That well, due to mm -hmm. ignorance of some Kenyans, they have very novel idea, and someone mm -hmm. else will just come and buy your idea, run away with right. it, right. even do the necessary get the registration young, get the as an intellectual. Pro yet you are the one patenting. The yeah. patenting it needs, that is it done. Needs, it needs major reform. This institution, the whole IP uh, infrastructure needs major reform. Uh, Shem referred to uh, the Kenya Innovation Agency, but that is on the funding side that if a young person is saying, you know, where can I find a little grant to, to pursue my innovation? But what is unavailable is an easy and robust way to reach out to innovators and to help them as they are innovating to protect uh, their intellectual property. Now, already in the traditional space, it was difficult enough. In IT, it's even more difficult because the person who should be helping you is himself, uh, you know, still in yeah. the 90s in terms of where, yeah. where, where, where they are with their knowledge of, of IT. I used to call them Mozart. major, mm -hmm. major reform required for the ecosystem for, for the ecosystem mm. of protecting intellectual the, property, and it needs to be aggressive, not passive. Yeah. The bar, right. In terms of he finding, sits, he sits in the maybe ICT. No, no, no. no. <laughs> let, let, let me he sits here. in the ICT. <laughs> yeah. You are listening to all these suggestions. Yes, I, that are being I, I, I've been writing it very. Yes. <laughs> so so <laughs> how how are you going to go ahead, <laughs> making sure that first of all the intellectual property of Kenyans are secured? We have a moribund body. Is it because there's no funding, or is it because also as Professor is saying, you know, they, they are taken by events? The, okay. and, and so that he funding answers right. both. So yes. that he answers both. The, there is also the, the court, the court of first instance. I mean, if we have a dispute between you and I on our, our IP, yes. where do we go to solve that dispute? <laughs> court Industrial Property yeah. Tribunal, yeah. which itself should be massively strengthened so that, uh, because it's an occasional board, the bank, yeah. instead of being able to determine. Then, can I just read? No, no, can I just read? No, 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 yes. answers yeah. all. Uh, uh, no, you have another for him. No, let, let yeah, me just let and, him. And he's, he's, he's been yeah. Yeah, you still need briefly. I've got only yeah. 10 minutes. Yeah. Okay. So we'll just, it will be a touch and uh, go on Eurobond. Uh, okay. We can actually dwell on it next week. Okay. Now, the, firstly, um, I knew the. We, we worked at intellectual property and uh, even in the finance committee. A professor, uh, what was his name? He passed away. Odie, Od, Odie, uh, he was a professor. A lawyer. Uh, uh, a lawyer? Yes, you're very... Which is the chair of the CEO? Odiek, Odiek mm -hmm. or something. Anyway, the biggest problem, he said, is we have no funding. Because what's happening, actually, <laughs> is the people who are the key funders or whatever the government are back in the, in the 1960s or 70s. And they're not with it. So, as you said, the regulatory authority, they're beautiful. I mean, we have very good systems. They activated, they're not activated. That one, the counterfeit authorities, and all these. So what we are looking at, as you said, creativity is not passive, and regulatory bodies are passive. So that is one thing that we want to look at, and see how we're going to ma make those those organisations. Even even the communication authority, truthfully, <laughs> it's it's a little bit behind. It's not with it. Um, so I, these these are issues that we need to 
mm. to de delve with very much. Mm. But more importantly, when you're now coming on telecom and you're coming on all these issues, mm. the mother of everything, postal communication. Right. Post, the postal sure. is, is our gold, is our diamond that we have thrown away as, as an ordinary rock. Sure. It has asset, is asset rich, it is cash poor. It has, and I must say this, our, it's a contradiction, our, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> our, our, uh, As retirement, we, yeah, yeah. And we owe, yeah. we owe our Liquidity. retirees, they owe the retirees like about 60 Arabi. billion and they want to write it off. So those are the sort of things that we need to concentrate on. We'll probably yeah. be asking you to come on and uh, talk to us on this issue. But the issue really of people like Safaricom and others mm. is to zero in and see how we're going to strengthen something like the postal telecommunication. Um, sure. If 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 wh what's stopping right. Safaricom, mm. what's the talking st stopping them from taking all the postal services as a private as a private enterprise? Yeah. It's happening in other countries. So th that that is that is my my say on it. Yeah. I agree with you. Uh, yes, I'm sitting on that board, and we're looking at now seeing how we're going to renovate some of these things. And I know yeah. this is this is a matter in court, as mm -hmm. you've mentioned over Christopher Ondieki, But now this is a Goliath and yes, yes. Uh, and, uh, and, and, uh, and David, David situation in court. Right. Yes, it's, yes. It's how? what I wanted to come. To. Oh, it's what you, okay. Fine. My premise would be on that particular one. I, I I think the matter should be settled out of court. I don't think it's likely to get justice in court. Mm -hmm. All the parties may be spearheaded by Kipi the Kenya Industrial Properties Institute, um, invite the major stakeholders mm -hmm. and have a conversation with their lawyers and have arbitration mm -hmm. so that a solution is found. Having said that, Debal, uh, I also wanted to maybe just to clarify that um, maybe Kenya is not so much the funding uh, organ. Perhaps when a governor had in mind NRF, the National Research Fund, Fund. which uh, I think is a positive thing that the Jubilee Administration did. Um, I think it was 204 at the AU heads of states decided that 2% of uh, national budgets, African national government's national budgets, was going to go to research and innovation, science, technology. I proudly Rwanda, I can say that Rwanda, my second home, <coughs> to a date is probably the only country Thank that you. has reached that mark. But the Kenya, by Kenya creating NRF, this was an important step. But there are other organs in the ecosystem. There's but are you alluding that this NRF uh, is, is a, it's a brainchild of Kenya Kwanzaa? Because it's not. No, no, no. It was Jubilee. Or maybe upping, Jubilee. upping the, the, the funding. Jubilee administration. Fantastic. So there is also Nakosti, um, which it deals with science, technology, innovation. Maybe mm. uh, when, uh, Gav, when Mishima was looking for the name of Professor Tom Ogada for a while, who oh, okay. was uh, involved no, no. in that space. But I, I'd want to say... I would want to ah, okay. I'd want to say there are other institutions involved. There is the communications tribunal. We probably don't hear too much about them. Mm -hmm. But normally, before matters of communications go to court, they, in many cases, they go to that tribunal. Of course, the tribunal has had its challenges here and there. But then lastly, there is also the National Communication Secretariat, okay, under the Ministry of ICT. So there are a number of these organs, and um, I'm hoping that uh, the Parliamentary Committee takes up this matter, working with the informaticians, so that you find a best fit in terms of ecosystem. We're looking for that. That does not see it today. That, yeah. that, <laughs> does, that does not <laughs> stifle, for but empowers the Do you know of any sector. informatician yourself? Do you know of any we informatician? We, we, we are heard <laughs> of some people. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't know, no, no, no. He calls himself that. He calls I, 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 want, I want to just, I just want to bring in one very important issue. Yes. What, which is a big problem for us. And all this question of innovation, sure. Kwanzaa City. Correct. Kwanzaa. I am astounded by the lack of understanding of what's happening. I'm a, I've been a mayor and I don't understand what mm -hmm. these guys are doing. They are going around and putting um, solar, solar panels Towers, right. and they have not even decided the, the setup of how the, the city is going to be. So there, there is a one huge problem. Okay. Huge uh, point. We would have been leaders here. Thank you. Now, yeah. now that you right. Konza, uh, 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 maybe uh, uh, there is a huge opportunity and good news. That's right. We are going to do that, yes. A number of our friends, African Americans, said we want to invest the $1.2 trillion spending capacity. We want part of it to go to Africa through Kenya underscore.
through Kwanza City. If you can and give them a title is, deed. There is a consortium. No, 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 okay. Uh, and John was the chairman there also. There is a <laughs> John, <laughs> yes, go. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> That's correct. Let's, 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 That's let's not upon the time. Yeah. Let's not personalize. I mean, I, I, <laughs> okay. But I wanted to say there is already a consortium, Kwanza City, no, Department of Diaspora okay. Affairs. To establish a we'll call you. Village. Come and tell us sure. because with the situation, with the is, these guys corporation. are out there. They, they have no idea what they're doing. You brought you brought communication specialist and put them on the top of community. Sure. They don't know about anything else like how to run a city. Thank you. And they don't, you know, you got to. Yeah. That is something. You. Guys, I need to. Uh, we, <laughs> we need to wind up because yeah. I can see also the sun is checking I, in, uh, trying to warm my samosas it, it, here. It's the great. natural I microwave. So we need to go. Mm -hmm. uh, this issue of Eurobon, we can tackle it next week. Sure. But uh, just as we get a headline thoughts, uh, first of all, my question will be: Why would we go for the Eurobon? I I know the government. We can still have other options. Like the government yeah. was broaching the issue of the Sukuk bond. It's commercial. Yeah, it's the Sukuk bond still is commercial, but. Will the Sukuk bond really attract the, the kind of uh, interest that the Euro bond is attracting? Because the Sukuk bond is from what the Islamic financing as well. Yeah. Maybe they have uh, other instruments on how they, na they navigate the, the, the interest issue. Briefly, yeah, let's just get uh, well, look, our uh, thoughts. Uh, we can broach it next week. Yeah. Uh, yes, indeed. Um, <laughs> first of all, briefly, briefly, in, in, the, in, the, in the management strategy paper, I mean, government expects to borrow both domestically and from the external market. So the, the idea of the euro bond is not really, it's, with, it's in that context. Um, and, but what we really must ask is the performance in the domestic market, as well as is this the right time for a euro bond given where the level of interest rates globally. Right. Uh, uh, no, no, no. On, on, both, on both government is doing poorly. Yeah. Interest rates are high all around the world, and they are going higher. Mm -hmm. So the bond would be the euro bond would be uh, a bit more expensive than say last year or the year before. Domestically, the market is still completely skeptical about this government. Uh, this week's uh, bond market, yes, <laughs> government, only government only got six uh, percent. Yeah, no, uh, one point seven billion. 7 Billion, billion. Yeah, billion. Yes. And, and CBK, CBK has cancelled also the yeah the issues of bonds. Uh, yeah, yeah, was yeah. it the infrastructure bond? Yeah, yeah. They, they cancelled one bond this week, but the ones that uh, the two bonds that they did try to they went to market with, they only got six percent of what they wanted. Yeah, and 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 so you know, I I, I cannot remember uh, poorer yes. uh, in fact uh, appetite by the market. Since uh, no. the no. days of President Goldenberg, yeah. Yeah. Mm. You, you had know, thoughts. Yeah, you, you know, it's it's so unfortunate that the same groups that are working so hard to reduce appetites of borrowers and confidence in the Kenyan market are the same groups that are calling government out when that happens. Really, as a country, my appeal is that the bipartisan approach should be: Can we work all together in this regard? And maybe, even though, uh, to be fair to our banks, even when Silicon Valley in the U.S. went down, our banks stood up. In terms of Kansas City, finally, my parting shot, the bell, just to say that I think the, 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 the new peers of ICT, uh, Engineer John Tenu, is doing already fantastic job. I'm hoping we can liaise together. Why didn't, he, do it? Why didn't he do it when he was the CEO? Uh, Thank yes. you. I think yeah. that's a story for another no, day. No, no, we're we're asking right. that. Yeah, but, okay. Uh, uh, let's okay. hear from uh, Moshimua, then we wind it up with Professor Trump. Eurobond. Very, very Eurobond has a history of uh, what is called opaqueness. Mm. Yeah? We started with Eurobond 1. Now, the questions we've always asked is where, how does it happen? Where do the funds, some of them go? You know, Eurobond is not exactly what you think it is. You, if I have a lot of money, it's like, it's like Helios. I give money, but I've, I've got illegal money or I've stolen money from a country if, and I've taken it and I've gone to the USA and Eurobond is a commercial and uh, commercial funding uh, on commercial basis. So when we are now looking at Eurobond, I think we're going to be very careful because I think what is happening is you are allowing those people who stole from the country to come and invest back at the country at a basic high, high rate of interest. That probably this is the only way we can get some of this money back. More important is under the public um, debt uh, proposals that we have, we are also suggesting 
that there should be some sort of limit as to how much uh, uh, we can borrow from the domestic market and how much you can borrow from the other markets and whether what is infrastructure etc thank you, you must reduce Let's leave it we must reduce domestic borrowing thank you thank uh, you uh, professor finally yeah I, I think that's a lot of hot air we reduce because we always go beyond that, that but i think i want to emphasize the point that this is a long time and i think you use a very good word the market is not uh, is not <coughs> so perhaps we need to go back to look at expenditure management as a country mm -hmm. what to happen to a household mm. i want to my parting shot with this gentleman called Arias mokua mm. on the nation he says kenya has no no no, no on the standard please in the study yeah. kenya yes. has no very of laws <laughs> policies <laughs> and i must add strategies let's just implement them yes Think. kenya has no Think shortage of laws policies and guidelines on practical practically yeah. anything Indeed. we want to do, do right, right? Yeah. but our undoing lies in the way we have naturalized political Immorality. Enhance why? Enhance why? Something very important. No, he enhance the Muranga. Let's do it. We need to have a national conversation. A national dialogue. This is the way forward. Fantastic. Gentlemen, thank you so much. I really appreciate your input this morning. It's been such a treat. Thank you very much for your valid company. You've been watching Sokoni here on Morning Prime. News Diaries up next.